getting eaten everywhere. Cool, it's a decent one. Big healthy fish. Oh boy. That is cool. On the paddleboard. <laughs> How about that? Another good frog fish on the paddleboard. This is cool. Way better than the first time.
suppose you just gotta be smart about where you position yourself. They all seem to be relating to the outside of this weed cover, these lily pads. Wind's blowing into the lily pads. It makes sense. They weren't biting at first. But then once that wind picked up a little bit, they really started. All about sustaining those active fish, wherever they may be. Catching fish on a paddleboard is pretty sweet without being not a giant, but uh, they're all fun. All fun on a paddleboard. See ya. Buddy. Another quality paddleboard fish. You betcha. That's cool. So we go back after him. Well, the water has crested the 80 degree mark, meaning it's too hot to do any musky fishing. Uh, as a result, I decided to uh, do some bass fishing this afternoon since I couldn't be on the water chasing those fish. Uh, you don't want to be chasing musky when the water uh, gets too warm because they, they really, really struggle with those warm water temps. 
So uh, I did some frog fishing on the paddleboard, which is always fun. Uh, even caught one really quality fish, given the context of the location, body of water, and uh, how deep I was fishing, being like a foot and a half, two foot deep at the most. But it was pretty cool to be doing uh, close quarters combat with those fish. I had a lot of fun, but uh, it is very hot out, so I'm gonna head inside for a much needed drink of water. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more action from uh, my Hayward series for the second time being up here this summer. See you in the next video.